another book review. Today, I am going to be reviewing two poetry books that I finished recently. I'm going to be doing them in the same video because I've never done this before. Um, not that I know of. Not that I know of. But I felt the need to um, do some self-reflecting, self-nurturing, and change up my reading um, a little bit uh, recently. I wanted to try to get more into poetry. I think the two books that I read were very good. Um, so starting with Vulnerable as F, F by, uh, I, hope I, I hope I pronounce her name right, Ter Ter Teriana Tankball. I, I honestly, to be completely, completely, completely honest, I thought her poetry was very, very good, um, beautifully written. My only thing with this is I feel like unless you've recently, and I don't mean like recently as in like yesterday or this month, I want to say recently as in within the last four years, unless you've recently gone and through a heartbreak or something like that, this book, it's, it's, the lack of a better word, it's kind of traumatizing because, like, I've been in a, um, beautiful, consistent relationship for, ugh, over four years, four or five years, so for me, remembering being single is so faint I can't really connect with the poetry in it, if that makes sense. Um, if you're single, I feel like this would be a good read. If you're recently single, I feel like this would be a good read. But for me, as being in a relationship for so long, like when I was reading it, I felt more sad for her that she had to go through it. Like, it wasn't like, a, oh, that's deep moment. It was more like every... Every poem, I was like, wow, you went through a lot. Wow, that's messed up. Wow, I feel for you. Like, that's really... A man treated you like that? A man did you like that? Like, that's so messed up. I'm not saying I've been in the most perfect relationships, but I'm saying it just, like, I feel like when I read poetry, um, it should be something, like, I can resonate with it, resonate with and really connect with. So, anybody who's just like, I just need... I just got over... I just, broke up with this person and I just need to read something to help me work out my feelings and emotions I would suggest this book to be completely honest because how she works through her breakup is very inspiring it's very um you know I feel like if if if, if we all work through breakups this way it would it would lead to more of a successful closure, an emotional closure rate, than some people being bitter and upset. So, it's just like I said, when I read it, I was just like, wow. I, I, remember, I remember feeling those feelings, but I remember feeling those feelings like ages ago. So, it's just more of like, wow, I don't want to feel that right now. I don't want to think about that right now, if that makes complete sense. Would I rate it a uh, 5 out of 5? Yes. It's very, it's a very good poetry book, but what I suggest anyone to read it who's currently, currently in a good, happy, successful, that you feel like you're just content with the relationship, no, because then, like I said, it kind of brings up emotions most people don't want to feel, but I feel like if you had just recently broke up with someone, this would help you feel like, hey, I'm not alone, someone has gone through what I'm going through, someone has gone through what I've gone through, but it was worse, you know? Oh, I felt those feelings before. But I would say her, it's it's purely about heartbreak and knowing your self-worth. So if you're looking for just a poetry book to help you work through a heartbreak and just resonate, hey, after that heartbreak, I still have my self-worth, I'm still amazing, then I say read this. Anyone. Like, it doesn't matter your gender or what kind of relationship you went through. Everybody goes through heartbreak. Everyone um, goes to those moments where you've been broken up with or you've broken up or you've broken up with someone and you just feel like your self, your self worth was diminished. So I think it'd be a good read for anyone. Anyways, so check it out. This one can be found at Target and I believe it can be found on Amazon as well. So, yeah. The next poetry book that I read that I absolutely loved is Home and Body by Rupi Kapoor. 
She's also the writer, the uh, the writer of the other poetry book that went like viral and famous, Milk and Honey, uh, a couple years ago, maybe four or five, couple or five, four. I don't know. I loved Milk and Honey. Um, I love Ruby Kapoor's um, poetry after Milk and Honey. I did read her sequel. It was a Sun, Sun and Flowers and that. I wasn't a fan of that one, but this one was really good considering this came out around the time where I myself decided to go on a self, uh, self care journey. And I finished this book within two, three days. Um, her poetry is small. And there's always beautiful imagery. It's small. But all her poems that are short, they pack a punch. They are so deep. And they really make you think about, you know, how your mind and body can easily be disconnected. And ways that, you know, you can really take a moment to reconnect them. If that makes sense. So if you're looking for two poetry books that really make you think and really make you just open your eyes to who you are as a person whether you are single and fierce or recently heartbroken and trying to get your fierceness back i say check out these two poetry books again thank you for checking out my book review and don't forget to subscribe thanks